Well, this has been a very busy week at the polls as early voters lined up in hopes of avoiding the crowds on election day. Yeah, and despite the excitement, we want to make sure that voters know exactly what to expect when you do head to the polls when it comes to safety precautions. Our Kara Willis has more. She's joining us now. Good morning, Kara. Good morning, ladies. The polls were packed this week from voters anxiously waiting to early vote. In Jefferson County, voters were spotted wearing their masks as they waited in line and practiced social distancing. We talked with voters and Jefferson County Judge Carolyn Guidry to give other voters who haven't made it out to the polls yet an idea of what to expect when it comes to safety precautions. I thought that it was a good experience just taking safety precautions, you know, uh, social distancing. So it, it was a good experience uh, for me voting today. Uh, each time that a voter uh, touches anything as far as our equipment and stuff go, that equipment is supposed to be wiped down. And uh, we use, uh, for the glasses, we can only use like an alcohol-based solution. And then for the others, we're just using uh, sanitizing solutions and stuff. For Voters reported that despite a few changes in system glitches, overall, the poll workers made them feel safe throughout their voter experience, and they encourage others to early vote without the worry. Judge Guidry says that she expects voter numbers to continue to increase throughout the voter process and that her and her team will continue to practice safety at the polls. In studio, Kara Willis, 12 News. And that big turnout had these long lines wrapping all around polling locations across Southeast Texas as people were waiting to cast their ballots. And we're now getting a look at the numbers of voters who turned out on the first day. More than half a million Texans have already voted. They voted on Tuesday. And here's how it looked across our area. In Jefferson County, more than 9,000 people packed the polls Tuesday. That's according to the county's website. We spoke with County Clerk Carolyn Guidry for a look back at 2016, and it turns out that that total was about 7,800, meaning this year is up by 14.5%. In Orange County, more than 3,000 people voted on the first day of early voting. Back in 2016, the total turnout there was about 2,500. That's a 19% increase.